dear students welcome to geography class today we are going to see the second session of the chapter major landforms of the earth let's see the schema of the session today we will be dealing with mainly four themes fold mountains block mountains volcanic mountains and finally we will be dealing with importance of mountains let's go in detail fold mountains in the previous session we have learned about endogenic process which means there are some kind of movements beneath the earth so the these mountains are formed by the effects of folding on layers within the upper part of the earth crust and what is the reason for that compressional forces generally occur with when tectonic plates move towards each other we have well explained in the previous session about the movement of tectonic plates the movement of two plates forces sedimentary rocks upward into a series of folds that's how fold mountains are being formed here is the diagram there are two plates which converge here so there is, there is a con compressional force occur here due to that force on the surface of the earth there can be a folding of the uppermost part that's how the fold mountains are being formed now there are mainly two types of fold mountains let us see what are they first one is young fold mountains and secondly old fold mountains we need to see what are the differences between these two young fold mountains they are of recent origin which means comparing to the old fold mountains these young fold mountains are of recent origin it does not mean that few years back it was formed no it was formed thousands of years back but comparing to the old fold mountains young fold mountains are young they are high with the steep slopes and sharp pointed peaks can you guess what is the reason for that since these are young fold mountains it has not covered the history of many years so that much of the erosion has not taken place that's why it has got high peaks with the steep slopes sharp pointed peaks are there they consist of parallel ranges and have you got any example for that the himalayas the alps the rockies and the andes so these are the example for that we know that in himalaya and all the peaks are snow covered here we go for a picture this is the example of young fold mountains now let us see what is old fold mountains so they have been formed long ago comparing to the young fold mountains these mountains are older these mountains have undergone erosion for millions of years 
so that what will be the shape of the mountains can you guess so that they will have low in height with gentle slopes and rounded peaks because erosion has taken place for millions of years and here is the examples aravalli in india urals and appalachians we are moving to the second category of mountains that is block mountains again here the course is the earth's movement it may result in formation of cracks and fissures or folds which means breaking downs of the earth surface the earth crust breaks along these folds into blocks so we have a fault line which means the weak zone which the crust breaks they occur due to tensional forces in the fold mountains it was compressional force here when we deal with block mountains it is tensional forces the crustal block may either be uplifted or subsided along the fault line i will explain with a picture before that just we will, we will see when the land get uplifted between two fault lines then it is called a block mountains we'll give you an example in a picture here this portion is uplifted okay and this portion is subsided or it has gone down so this region is known as block mountain and this region is known as rift valley so here you will see fault line so breaking downs or fault or fissure give rise to block mountains and rift valleys so these mountains have a flat top with very steep sides see here flat top with very steep sides what are the examples satpuras the bindias in india the vosh mountains in europe so when the land between two fold lines subsides it forms a rift valley with a flat bottom and steep sides bounded by a block mountains that's what we have seen as a rift valley here it is a picture of a river narmada see here we have block mountains and a rift valley examples we see here we see here the narmada river flows through a rift valley and satpura mountains that is about india when we take the example of europe river rhine in europe also flows through rift valley between the vosch mountains of france and black forest mountains of germany now let us see which is the longest rift valley in the world it is the east african rift valley remember the longest rift valley in the world is the east african rift valley so in this topic we were learning about block mountains along with that we have to learn rift valley also now we are moving to next topic that is volcanic mountains we are familiar with the concept of volcano how it occurs we know it right 
these mountains are a result of volcanic activities so the process is given here they are formed due to accumulation of magma ash and cinder magma or molten material when it reaches the surface of the earth of course through a vent when the extreme pressure builds up within the earth so it reaches on the top of the earth surface and slowly it will cool down solidifies and forms volcanic mountains so the repeated eruption taking place over a period of time results in formation of volcanic mountain i have an example of here see this is a volcanic mountain these mountains are cone shaped which means they are cone shaped see here yeah with a steep or gentle slope it can be either steep slope or gentle slope which are the examples mount vesuvius in italy mount fuji in japan kilimanjaro in africa these are the best example for volcanic mountains so we have learned about fold mountains block mountains and volcanic mountains now we will be we will be seeing in a chart how the formation and characteristics and finally we will see the examples of these three mountains fold mountains it is formed due to compressional and folding of horizontal layers of sediments characteristics it has got very high with a steep slope very high with a steep slopes sharp pointed peaks himalayas andes alps rocky rockies so all these things are good example or best example for fold mountains coming to the block mountains due to upliftment or subsidence of blocks along the folds formed on a crust due to forces of compression or tension so this is the reason of or the causes for the formation now what is it its characteristics it is shaped like a block we have seen the picture yes mount vosh black forest vindhya and satpura they are the example for block mountains coming to volcanic mountains they are formed due to cooling and solidification of hot molten lava they are shaped like a cone mount vesuvius mount kilimanjaro are best example for volcanic mountains now it is very important to see the importance of mountains can you guess what are the importance of mountains how these mountains help us let us see mountains are very important natural resources they are useful to us in various ways let us see in detail see the first and foremost importance of mountains the glaciers in the mountains give rise to many perennial rivers what do you mean by perennial river which means ever flowing rivers throughout the year there will be water what will be the reason for that can you guess yes of course due to glaciers even in the summer season these glaciers melt so that there is water and in the rainy season of course due to rain there is water so here we can construct dams and it is used for irrigation purpose and we can produce electricity that is called hydroelectricity here we have two pictures as examples we are moving to the second importance 
the river valleys and gentle slope are used for cultivation so that is very important we get food out of cultivation and this mountain provides minerals for industries and stones for construction in that way also mountains help here is a picture of a mountain and river valley a valley yes mountains slopes covers with a dense forest like here yes are home to varieties of wildlife so mountains are helpful in that way too they also provide timber firewood fodder medicinal herbs etc the meadows on the slopes are excellent grazing ground for sheep mountains are famous for their scenic beauty and are therefore tourist destination don't you like to visit a hill station yes that's it various mountain sports like trekking climbing skiing etc are also very popular here we have a picture mountains act as climate barrier what do you mean by that for example the himalaya the himalaya obstructs the extremely cold wind entering into our country from the northern side so himalayas protects us from the bitterly cold wind so that we don't have the extreme winter like in the north pole the himalayas also obstruct the monsoon wind which comes from the southern part so that we have sufficient rain over here thus the mountains act as a climate barrier i hope you understand the importance of the mountains here we conclude the lesson you have a question what are the types of fold mountains you can answer it in the comment box thank you